Prop number five. On Sunday, my Atlanta Falcons go to Pittsburgh to take on Big Ben and the Steelers. Both teams have had a surprisingly rough start to the season. You can say that again. The Falcons at one and three, <clears throat> and the Steelers at one, two, and one. Each team's stud receiver, Julio Jones and Antonio Brown, have also been less than their usual dominant selves so far this year, to say the least. The prop, who has more fantasy points this Sunday, Julio Jones or Antonio Brown? Antonio Brown is garbage. <laughs> Julio like, Jones is going to go ham sandwiches. First of all, AB doesn't have more than 100 yards uh, in a game. Uh, both of these people, by the way, are, are garbage. Sorry, I know you love those guys, but both their passing defenses are the worst in the league. Um, Julio was due. This is his time. It's his time. I can't wait to see what touchdown dance he's been practicing for five weeks because he's had a lot of time to prep and prepare. He has had a lot of time. Yeah, to and, I'm, and I'm sure that this is gonna. This is when it's gonna come to a head, going up against one of the worst passing defenses in the league. I do think. Uh, I do think Julio is uh, has put in the work to get what he deserves. I know it's been a bad season for him, but I do think he's gonna turn it around. As someone who can't stand the Falcons and anybody who's from Atlanta or roots for them. <laughs> Oh, I love him very much. No. But there's no doubt. But it, he's AB's due. doing nothing. No, but Julio is due. Julio has needed a touchdown all season. He didn't have a touchdown until week four or five last year. Mm -hmm. So he's definitely due. Matt Ryan's spreading the ball around. And now with Calvin Ridley on the Falcons team, uh, Julio is going to be open way more. But I still think that Antonio Brown gets more passes. because no Because uh, he's Antonio Brown and they don't have any other option on the offense except for Connor, who's constantly running into a wall. Now, the Atlanta defense is trash. I could say that because we are completely hurt. Uh, but Pittsburgh's defense is trash, Just too. Just as bad. So I would say that Antonio definitely catches more. And he's going to catch more because Julio Jones loves me. And he uh. would want to do this for me. Oh, you think this is all about you? I. Oh, I don't think. I know that you it's know. all about me. Yeah, wow. yeah. I've been texting him. I said, will you catch less passes What's his number? this week? You think we can put his number up? Where's number, number 11? No, no, his phone number you've been texting with. <laughs> it's 11. Oh, his phone number's 11? Yeah. Yeah, that proves my point, Catherine. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She must be off her rocker on both of these points. First I of all, can't f***ing pick against Julio Jones. I'm being dare forced to in studio because in front of my he chose son. first. That's right, I chose first. And sometimes we all, we don't get what we want, okay? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes we always don't get what we sometimes want. Sometimes we have to spin a sign that says I'm a loser. Yeah, we uh, do, third. and I'm still proud of that. <laughs> Sarah, you're just like the Denver Broncos. You were winning the whole time, and then at the last second, uh, you end up saying you don't even believe what you're. I don't. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's impossible I don't. For me to give you any points, uh, Santino? Do you have ham sandwich trademark? That's something. Yeah. That you got in the works. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? I love ham sandwiches. Why does I'm, he get I'm to actually, win? I'm actually looking for a sponsor, so I'm thinking cool. if I keep saying ham sandwiches, maybe uh, Jersey Mike's or somebody's gonna <laughs> give me some free food. I've been hungry. They don't feed us here. <laughs> this is bad. That's why you, the bet was a hot dog. Yeah, it was, because I'm starving.